Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Pipe and Tubing. Topic number 22, Job Practice. Single V-Groove Weld, Butt Joint, 45 degree fixed position, 6G, with consumable insert. Objective, to develop skill to produce quality single V-groove wells on schedule 60 steel pipe in the 6G position using a Grinnell type consumable insert. The finished pipe weld should have a flat to slightly convex face reinforcement no greater than 1 8 inch. The root reinforcement should range from flush with the base metal to a maximum of 1 16th inch. Material. 8 inch diameter schedule 60 steel pipe. Electrodes. 1 8 inch diameter 2% thoriated tungsten. 3 32nd inch diameter E7018. And 1 8 inch diameter E7018. Consumable insert type Grinnell. Filler metal. 1 8 inch diameter E70S1B. Shielding gas, argon welding grade. Equipment. Collet and collet body, 1 8 inch diameter. Nozzle, number 6, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves and helmet. Wire brush, wire cutters, pliers and chipping hammer. Machine settings. Polarity, direct current electrode negative, straight polarity. Amperage setting, 110 to 120. Gas flow rate, 15 to 20 cubic feet per hour. Tungsten electrode stick out, 2 to 3 electrode diameters. Prepare a pipe joint with a consumable insert, as described in topic 21. Be sure to thoroughly wire brush the tack welds and the joint edges prior to welding. Secure the workpiece in the 6G position and fix it to prevent rotation. Position the torch at 6 o'clock with a 90 degree work angle and a 35 to 45 degree push travel angle. Filler metal is not required for the root pass since an insert is being used. The travel angle will require adjustment as welding progresses up the joint in order to maintain a consistent 1 16th inch arc length. Start the arc and move the torch up the joint with the cup walking motion. The welder should learn to read the puddle. Note that as the insert melts, the puddle begins to sink slightly and then rise slightly. If travel continues before the puddle rises, the insert is probably not being consumed. The welder should become familiar with how far the puddle sinks in order to produce the desired bead. Weld from 6 to 12 o'clock for both halves of the pipe. The finished bead should be smooth and evenly rippled, fused well at the edges, and slightly concave. The root reinforcement should be wider and flatter than the original shape of the ring. If the root side of the insert does not melt enough to produce good fusion into the root face, then increase the welding current or reduce the travel speed. If a concave root surface occurs, or too much of the joint edges melt, then reduce the welding current or increase the travel speed. Filler metal will be used to deposit the second weld bead. The torch angle is the same as for the root pass and the filler rod is positioned in the middle of the root pass with no side angle. Use a wider side to side motion to fuse into the edges of the joint. Pause at the junction of the bevels and root bead to assure penetration and to limit the bead from becoming too convex. The finished second bead should be flat to 
slightly concave. The remainder of the joint is filled with the shielded metal arc welding process. Make the necessary readjustments to the machine settings. Current, direct current electrode positive, reverse polarity. Amperage setting, 85 to 110 for the 3 seconds inch diameter E7018 and 110 to 125 for the 1 8th inch diameter E7018. The same procedure and technique used in topic 15 is used to complete this joint. Four layers of passes will be deposited. The first layer consists of two passes with the 3 seconds inch E7018. The remaining layers are composed of two, then three, and finally four weld beads. They are all deposited with the 1 8 inch electrode. The finished weld should be flat to a maximum of 1 8 inch face reinforcement with no overlap or undercut. Inspect the weld and then continue practice.